have been fascinated with history and with archaeology since I was very young, and I am incredibly, you know, blessed and happy to be able to actually pursue it. I've never done any archaeology work, and I've done a, a lot of hands-on work between research and other areas, but I really wanted to get out and see another science and see how they're using technology and how they might be able to use technology in the future, but to also understand how another science works. In the Lorenzo de Medici Archaeological Field School, it is a four-week course uh, based here in Tuscania. The first couple of days, we actually had classroom lectures. We got an introduction to the Etruscan people, an introduction to the town, and also an introduction to the archaeological process. Uh, we also got to visit a, a numerous museums and other dig sites that have already been excavated around the regions. We usually go to Tarquinia and Cerveteri that are uh, very, very important Etruscan cities with very famous necropolis. So uh, the students have the opportunity to see what the Etruscans gave us. At the half of the second week, we start the excavation. And every day we come out at 8 a.m. We leave town, work till 12:30, go back for lunch, and then come back out at 2:30 and work till 4:30. This is a necropolis, so we are excavating tombs. Some tombs are big, others are small. This year, for example, we have two situations open, and so we have a group that is working in one and a second group that is working in the other one. So it's rather interesting to work on tombs because there is such a difference in the way that the Etruscans would build them. So you can go from one side of our site and see a rather you know, nice, large, open-air tomb. And then you go to the other side and you're suddenly very deep and in a kind of enclosed space. And it's a very nice difference. Uh, they take part at the recording process. I teach them how to draw an archaeological plan, how to fill the recording sheet, and uh, sometimes how to sort ceramics. At the end, we usually close the excavation area altogether. Students are here from the beginnings to the ending, so they can follow completely the excavation process, process of one context, of one tour. I really love the Italian culture and the Italian people, and to be able to go out to lunch and go out to dinner and hang out on the weekends with you know our, our site director, our professor, it's a really relaxed atmosphere that you don't quite get in America or in other places. I like a lot to see students that after days of tiring work, because this is very tiring, they find something. And so to see the expression of joy in their eyes that goes uh, uh, further, that goes past uh, the understanding. It's an emotion that they feel, and this is also very beautiful. Out here, working with the professionals, um, we get to study with them as, uh, as well as work alongside them, so we get the great chance, great chance not only to learn from <laughs> classroom education, but also to learn the intricacies of their everyday work and really see how a dig truly operates and get that hands-on experience that is so valuable. Archaeology is very important because it allows us to understand not only what people did in the past, but how they lived. Doing archaeology in grave sites and tombs and everything, you not only get to see who the person was, you get to see what objects were associated with that person's gender or social class, and it really allows a more concrete version of what happens when people, like another civilization, has disappeared. We get to see, be part of um, pulling out dirt as well as handling artifacts and being a part of really every bit of the excavation, which is incredible. And if you do archaeology, it's going to be hard work, but the reward you get at the end of the day, knowing that we did this, we found this, we now have an idea about this, it's, it's more rewarding than I can put into words.